Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary and I'm going to be doing a review on the new Fenty line. I mean, it's not that new. I'm a little late with the review. But if you like how my face looks right now, which I do love, and you're interested to see my thoughts on all of the products that I have of hers, please keep on watching this video. Alright guys, so I did one eye off of camera and my eyebrows off of camera as well. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. And I'm going in with the shade Peaches and Cream. Now I'm going to go in with the Just Peachy shade right here. Alright, so I'm going to go in with a different brush, one more that's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to go in with Peach Punch. And I'm going to put this on the outer V. So I'm done with the eyeshadow and now I'm going to go in with the matchstick in the shade Trippin'. I'm going to do swatches and show all the ones that I have. Um, I have Blonde, Redick, Starstruck, Suede, Rum, Yacht Life, Truffle, and Trippin'. And I'm going to be showing swatches of that now. This is Trippin', Starstruck, Yacht Life, Blonde, Redick, Rum, Truffle, and Suede. I'm going to get any eyeshadow brush and I'm going to wet it with Max Fix Plus or with anything water's fine. It doesn't really matter. Yes, the product comes off of the matchstick good, but not as pigmented as I would like it for an eyeshadow. Not that it's meant that way, so we'll see how it performs on the face. But for the purpose of eyeshadow, I'm going to be wetting the brush, picking up the product, and then putting it on my lid. Now first I'm just going to smear it on and then I'm going to start to pat it so that the product can be more pigmented. I have four of the highlights. I'm obsessed with the Chic Freak and Girl Next Door. It's like a rose gold type of shade. I'm going to put in swatches of all the highlighters now. Trophy Wife, Hustler Baby, Mean Money That You Can't Even See, She Creek, Girl Next Door, Fire Crystal, and Lightning Dust. This one right here, which is She Creek, is the one that I'm going to be using on my lid to set the matchstick that I just applied. So I'm just going to pick that up. It doesn't matter if the brush is wet or dry. Um, I've already used this on my eye before, and it's just so pigmented and so gorgeous. I can't wait to use it on my actual skin. Okay, and now I'm going to get an eyeliner, like a berry eyeliner. I'm using Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade Fine Wine. And I'm just going to pull on my, um, my eye, I guess. And I'm just going to go back and forth and run this as close to my tight line as I can. And I'm not going to take it all the way in. I'm going to keep this about three-fourths into the eye. And then once I have that on there, I'm going to get an angled eyeliner brush. I'm going to pull again and I'm going to blend in. So not out because it will create a wing. I just want to soften this but in towards the eye. Alright, so I finished the eyes and now I'm going to go on with the face. I've already used this foundation, so I'm just going to say I love the foundation. I haven't worn it for a full day, so I am going to show you guys how it looks and how it wears throughout the day. But I already used the foundation with the primer, and I don't like the primer. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think it does anything for me. It's just a light moisturizer feeling. It doesn't feel like I have a good primer on. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I just prefer the primer that does something for me especially since I have so much dry skin and the foundation is more matte I need the extra moisture maybe for someone with oily skin the primer will feel a lot better but since I've already tried it and it's not something for me I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I'm gonna put that all over my face So I'm going to be going in with my Beauty Blender. I have tried her foundation brush. I don't like it just because 
it leaves it streaky and when I went back in to blend out the streakiness the foundation was already dry and it wasn't blending out so I'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender and I couldn't find my exact shade because my skin has like different undertones and the shades that should have matched me were either too gray or they were too pink so I'm gonna be mixing um, 310 and 320 and we'll see how that looks because I haven't used them mixed together yet Alright, so I did my concealer and I set my concealer only, not the rest of my face off of camera because I, I don't like the matchsticks that are concealers. I haven't tried them, I just don't like cream concealers that are come like this, like they're to dry. I like them in a container where they're more liquidy and wet, that's how I like my concealer, so I didn't even bother getting them. So, But I am going to be using the matchsticks that are to contour, so I did my concealer off of camera and I'm going to be concealing with the shade Truffle. And I'm going to do it the way that Alyssa Ashley did in her video, which is just putting it on the brush and then applying it to your face that way. And I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender that has some foundation left in it. And on top of that, I'm going to put bronzer and I'm going to clean it up with concealer so we'll see how it looks in the end. Now that I'm blending it out with the... Beauty Blender is looking a lot better. Okay, so I did my lashes off of camera and I cleaned up the contour on this side. The camera died, so I did the lashes and I did the concealer on this side. Now I'm going to clean up with concealer on this side so you guys can see how it looks. I think it looks a lot better. So I'm just going to get any concealer. You can get any concealer that you have. I'm using one by Maybelline. And I'm just going to do a straight line. And I'm going to break that down a little bit. I think it looks really good and like with whatever's left over on the brush because I have a little forehead and I don't want to make it look super small with what's left over I'm just gonna put it on my forehead just so my whole face is matching and I'm even gonna bring it down here a little bit because I don't want to have too harsh of a contour either this whole time I haven't set my face because I'm working with creams now I'm gonna set it um everyone says that the foundation dries down I can feel it drying down, but I, it's not as dry as I would like it. And even if it did dry down completely, I'm just so used to my routine that I would feel much better going in with, um, with powder. So, I'm going to go in with a powder foundation by Makeup Forever. And this is what I always use to set my face, so I'm just going to go all over the face with this. Um, under my lash line down here, I just put in the same colors that I did on my lid and in my inner corner I'm going to pop blonde and then I'm going to put trophy wipe on top since I'm not going to put trophy wipe on my face. So I'm going to get any brush and I'm not wetting it so we're going to see how true it is to color. So now I'm just going to bronze up my face and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I bronze off camera because the bronzer that I was using um, has nothing to do with Rihanna, but I'm going to go in with Trophy Wife, and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. So I'm going to try to go in with Redick as a blush, and we'll see how it works out. Since I already set my face, I'm going to do it with my finger and see, and then blend it out with... The beauty blender, I hope I didn't just ruin my whole face. Okay, so I just blended it out with my beauty blender and I reapplied some more because I blended it out a little bit too harshly, so it'll it's easy to blend away. So I mean it's good because that means if you go in too harshly, you can blend it out. Okay, so I blended out the redic on both cheeks and I think it looks super good, and I'm just gonna set it. Not that it needs any setting because it actually dries down dry, but I'm going to set it with my Tarte blush in the shade Glisten. Now, I'm going to go in with a highlight. So, I'm going to use my Morphe Y14 and I'm going to use 
the Kilowatt and Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And I'm going to use the more pigment inside. Because when it's like really new. And this is more like you could tell it's a highlight. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Hustler Baby. And I'm just going to highlight. Oh, that looks so good. So I really, really love this highlight. It just looks... I've applied so much on and it just looks so wet like the more I put on the wetter I look so I really really like it I think this is gonna be like my go-to highlight now this is the oh, the hustler baby one okay so I already lined my lips and now I'm gonna go in with the gloss bomb I love this gloss it smells so good and I love the jumbo applicator it makes it so easy to apply So I'm going to wear this throughout the day and I'm going to be back to show you how the foundation performs and to give you the final, my final thoughts on all the products that I'm using. So it's 9.15 and I've had this on for like if I put it on at 3, almost 6 hours and I think that it looks really good. I'm going to get closer and zoom in the camera a little bit. Alright, so I think overall it looks really good. I only have some creasing here. And that happened before I even set my foundation. That's because I was talking too much for the purposes of the video. Before I set it. So I won't make that mistake again. Because the first time that I used this. Because this isn't my first time using it. I didn't crease at all. And it looks so good. But I'm not even like that shiny. I'm, I have dry skin so I barely get shiny to begin with. I didn't show what I set my face with. Which was the Hangover RX... Um, setting spray so just for the purposes of the video even though i'm about to take this off i'm gonna go in with the invisimat universal powder that she came out with it's supposed to be like a no color powder powder that works for any skin tone to me personally this has powder i mean color to it but i'm gonna put it on right here in my forehead i'm a little shiny so it has some white color to it but it doesn't honestly it doesn't bother me so you see like my forehead is not shiny anymore. So overall my thoughts on the products are that this is such a great line. I love the foundations. I love the range of colors that she came out with. I think the foundation gives really good coverage. Um, I would say this is a light to medium coverage foundation. I have it full coverage because I put on a lot of layers trying to get the colors to blend in together so it can match my neck. And I don't look cakey at all. It looks super good and i think that it's buildable so i definitely think that you guys should get um the foundation i think it's an a plus i love the foundation you don't need the primer um you need the highlighters the highlighters are so good like it looks so good i haven't touched my highlighter like i haven't done anything and i think the matchsticks are really cute you don't need them but if you want them and you're like a makeup junkie and you love to have a bunch of makeup then get it i think you should get it i think it's good even if you don't like how it looks on your skin as a highlight, it looks good on the lid. As far as the contour, it did look a little muddy on me and it did get a little patchy. I did like it, but I'm not one to contour either way. It's not my favorite, but it is one of the best that I've used to contour. But if you have oily skin, you need this powder. This powder is so good and I have dry skin. So if you have oily skin, I know it'll do wonders for you. Don't get the brushes or the sponge if you already have that kind of stuff. But overall, I love this line. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I really loved how this whole thing turned out. I really love this line and I'm excited to see what else she comes up with. Now I'm going to be announcing a another giveaway. I'm going to be giving products of the new Fenty line. And I'm going to be choosing three winners. So I got three kits for highlighting um, highlighter and contouring. So I got one in tan, deep, and in light. And then I also got three of the powder highlights. So I got um, Hustler Baby and Me Money, Lightning Dust, Fire Crystal, and Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. So each winner is going to be receiving like a set like this. When I choose the winners, each winner is going to be receiving a set like this. And again, it's going to be three winners that I'm going to choose. Um, the rules to my giveaway are just to subscribe to my channel, like, and leave a comment down below. And this giveaway will be happening once my channel reaches 50 subscribers. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my Halloween tutorials that I'll be doing.